It's Virio Link here, and today I'm going to be showing you Horizon Workrooms and how to connect it to your PC. Now, a lot of you may be wondering exactly what is Horizon Workrooms. Well, it's basically a virtual meeting space where you and your colleagues can work together uh, from anywhere in the world. You can join a meeting in VR as an avatar, or you can just dial it with your computer. Now, in order to use the platform, you don't have to necessarily download it on your computer, but if you don't, you're going to be missing out on one of its main functions. So within this video, you're going to see all the connection steps you'll need and my views and opinion on this platform. Now, the first thing you're going to do is make the account. Uh, all you're going to have to do is go on whatever browser you use and look up Horizons Workrooms and just uh, make that account. It's going to make your life way easier instead of downloading it on the actual quest first. So just make the account on your computer and then you're going to be all set from there. Now, once you're signed in and everything, they should give you a prompt over here to download Oculus Remote Desktop. And if they don't, you should be able to find it with this link in the description and you can just download it there. After the download is complete, launch the app. Follow the prompts and now you're connected. Now that we're in, I'm gonna go over what we can actually do in Horizon. But first, a word from our sponsor. Are you uncomfortable wearing glasses in VR? Does your glasses constantly hit your lens? Are you tired of having to wear glasses in VR at all? Don't you wish there was a smart and easy solution? Introducing VR Rock. VR Rock is your one-stop shop for all your VR lens solutions. VR Rock allows you to customize your prescription lens according to your optical prescription making it more comfortable when playing in VR. You just install it on your lens, no disemplement required. A quick and easy installation. To get 5% off of your purchase, go on vr-rock.com and type in VR link, all lowercase. That's vr-rock.com VR link, all lowercase. And one more time, that's vr-rock.com code VR link, all lowercase for 5% off. VR Rock lens also protect your original headset lens from scratches and are also available with an anti blue light coating to protect your eyes when you're using your headset. With VR Rock, I no longer have to worry about scratching with my lens or eye damage due to blue light. And best of all, I no longer have to wear glasses in VR. Thanks, VR Rock! And again, I just want to say thanks, VR Rock, for sponsoring this channel. Now back to the video. Now, one of the features you've probably seen in a commercial or heard about a lot is to basically have like a multiplayer chalkboard. This allows you to basically brainstorm on a chalkboard or a whiteboard and finish each other's thoughts or whatever you're doing in your workspace. I also think one of the coolest parts is to set it up uh, because you set it up through pass through. That's why you can't really see what I'm doing and why it's all black around, but uh, it is through pass through. Uh, so you can actually see the environment around you while you set it up and you won't really hit anything. And if you're wondering why in this video uh, I'm not really drawing anything, uh, it's because I was using it completely wrong. You're supposed to actually draw, uh, draw with the end of your controller. So that's why nothing's really coming out. It's just like traces of colors and stuff. So I found this whiteboard option actually really cool. I didn't really get to use it uh, in multiplayer or anything like that, but when I did use it, I found it really cool and I could see how it'd be useful 
uh, in a team environment. They have also added another mini whiteboard uh, on your computer map. So they have this option where you can just move your computer away um, and you can actually draw on uh, the whiteboard and you can erase. You can basically do everything that you were th doing on the whiteboard, but just right in front of you. And then you can put that up on the whiteboard or on the screen. So for me, the best feature that this has to offer is to actually be able to bring your computer into VR. And this is not just seeing your screen, your computer screen in VR. You can actually type and you can actually use your computer uh, in the setting. You can share your computer screen. You can take screenshots and share with everyone else. It's like it's perfectly made uh, for sharing everything in VR and for actually in a workplace environment where you need to share files and things like that. I do also like the fact that you can use pass through if you have one of the computers that uh, don't allow you to track on your keyboard. And they actually have a bunch of keyboards um, in the files that you can look at to see uh, if yours might allow you to use tracking. But if not, just use that pass through element and it seems to work pretty well. Now, one of the main aspects I want to talk about uh, within this app is the actual social aspects, but I can't really do that because I didn't really have anyone else there with me. So I might cover that in another video, but as of right now, that aspect does look like it would make so much sense in this app because you, can, you would be able to see oh, everyone's maneuvers and gestures, and I think it would feel more lifelike than just going into a Zoom call or a Skype call. So I definitely see that as a plus when it comes uh, to this platform. And I hope a lot more people get into VR so this can be the new standard for actually going into meetings um, when working with other people in other nations or in other states or wherever. And now we're at the part where I tell you what I don't like about this app. So for me, the only thing that's holding this application back is that it's reliance on the controllers or the reliance on hand tracking. I don't know which one of them need to go, but one of them need to go uh, because when you rely on either or, it doesn't really feel smooth. Like there's not a smooth transition. Uh, there has been parts uh, where I'm trying to do something and the hand tracking is not picking me up. So I'm just there like waving my hands around trying to get the hand tracking to work and it's not picking me up. And there's also been parts where like I'm trying to use the computer and I'm thinking that I can uh, use it with the actual controllers but then I have to go on my computer to use the, um, the, the trackpad. So it, it kind of breaks the immersion in, in a lot of ways and also it's very annoying having to go back and forth and then what if the hand tracking isn't working? What if it's not picking me up automatically like it's supposed to? So those are some things they might be able to fix with some software updates or something. But as of right now, um, it's really annoying and I don't like it. I mean, this is a beta, so I don't expect it to be perfect, um, but that is one of the complaints that I do have about this um, if I did have to have some complaints. I hope this video was helpful. Uh, let me know if I missed anything or if you have anything to add, just put it in the comments and I might make another video, uh, hopefully with some actual people in there with me so I can get a feel of what it actually feels like uh, to work with people in this program. If you liked this video and it helped you out, please like and subscribe and don't be afraid to hit that bell button. It really helps the channel out. Peace out. Thanks for watching.